Hello everyone. I just thought I'd like to uh, show you my little music room I got set up finally. That's my uh, Gibson's there, the copies of them anyway. Um, work table. Over here I got my, my computer and monitor set up. Recording set up, preamp. I got my amp. Got my other wall of cheap guitars. Basically, this will be the room you'll be seeing all my uh, work come out of. Um, you know, basically what we got going on is a bunch of cheap guitars. That one there, that was a uh, $80 Gibson Les Paul copy. Uh, basically put together out of a uh, 70s Encore body with a set of uh, pretty new Gibson factory pickups, uh, factory replacement neck from Korea. Not a bad sounding guitar, I paid 80 bucks for it. It plays good. This one I think I got about 85 tied up in it. It was covered with stickers when I got it. Um, needed that switch there replaced. Um, it's a S335 copy made by S101 Guitars. You know, I paid 75 for it, and I think I paid 10 bucks for the switch. And the thing was covered with stickers. I uh, it took about a half a day of getting all the stickers off without ruining the finish. This one I picked up as a steel with a package. Uh, it's an Austin brand Les Paul copy. It's uh, I paid 40 bucks for that with an amp and a stand and a cord. You get a great little starter package for 40 bucks. Uh, this here's going to be my work table. You know, over here I got my computers, got my uh, recording interface, my tube preamp. There's my cheap old amp. Uh, that thing retailed about 500 bucks back in 2000 when it was made. I got it because this little uh, chip out of the corner here, you know, that cost cost them 400 bucks because I paid 100 bucks for the amp. Got that cabinet on auction. I run everything through that, make it sound better. Um, got that for 55 bucks at an auction. That guitar was free. It's a uh, Indiana brand, I believe. Guy says, I ain't playing it anymore. If you want it, you can have it. I've, I've had it for about 10 years now. This one I got in a thrift store. I don't even know what brand it was. It was all pretty much messed up. I paid $12.50 for it. Had to buy a set of tuners, new pick guard, do a little bit of wiring. I did that crazy finish just because why not, you know. And it plays good, sounds good. That's just an old PV uh, Rockmaster that Walmart sold for about 150 bucks. My bought daughter actually bought it half that, you know, 75 bucks on clearance, and she never decided to play, and it ended up just going in my room. Um, here's a couple of old Tyscos. That one's from, I think, if, if I'm reading everything right, maybe 66, 67. That's yeah, EP8, and then there's a 69 year EP9. I paid 300 bucks for the pair of those. Um, yeah, it may not sound like a budget guitar, but considering they go from about six to eight hundred bucks a piece on eBay when you can find them, that's you know kind of puts them in a budget category in my my book. That crazy little yellow thing is made in Korea sometime in the 70s. It's a half size and the only reason I got it was for 10 bucks. Why not? That thing was given to me needed a brace glued on it. Um, it's an Austin brand acoustic. It sounds pretty good. About five cents of wood glue tied up in that. This one I, I got for 25 bucks. That's a Douglas guitar. You know, tell us Telecaster copy. It, it plays good. I thought for 25 bucks, there's that much in parts alone comes out. It's one of my better, funner guitars to play. And I uh, got that little PV practice amp. That was the amp that was in the deal with the black guitar. 
got my foot controller board to get all my uh, effects out of my amp that I use and uh, basically that's about where we're at. Got finally got everything moved in and set up. Now I can start doing some uh, videos and you know seeing what we can come up with. Uh, hopefully you guys will find some videos you like and you watch and you enjoy. Anyway, I appreciate you all watching.